Hey guys, I'm Beauty Heathen and I am absolutely, positively, unequivocally pissed off. Um, to those who are new to my channel, welcome. I'm sorry, this is not my regularly scheduled programming. To those returning to my channel, I know you're probably wondering, what happened to rituals and uh, readings week? Well, it has now evolved into rituals rants in readings week because something happened on Twitter today and that I cannot keep my mouth shut about. I am not going to give my normal introduction to things. Um, you will, if you've watched it from the beginning, you will have seen a screenshot. Um, or screen with me explaining what I do and what my channel is and all that kind of stuff. I am not even going to talk about the products right now. I am really just working on this head to give me something to do and for you to look at while I sit here and go over some very, very, very important subject matter that just full on needs to be addressed today. And maybe I need to turn down the light because it keeps washing it out so if there's a few shadows I apologize but I'm trying to make sure that the head at least doesn't get washed out tonight let me try that's a better light but let me see no it's better with that one okay okay so for those of you who are not on Twitter Something happened today that has me exceptionally angry and to the extent that usually on Wednesdays I do not record because at least bi-weekly because I have healing after work and by the time I get home it's really late. Well, I couldn't sit on this one. I, I just, I can't. Today on Twitter, sorry I'm looking for clean brushes because I haven't prepped at all for this um, there was a woman I'm not even gonna give her handle I'm not gonna give her anything about her because right now she is getting far 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 too much hate already for something that she tweeted out that people are ignorant to and I'm not saying that in the sense of generally intentionally ignorant but we in Western society are very 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 much ill-informed when it comes to other cultures outside of our own and many times when I am delving into my content on this channel for those of you who are returning you will have seen my going through the evolution of human spirituality and how it also evolved as human migration and human evolution did and how human spirituality pretty much took a linear standpoint from ancient ancient origins of animism evolving into shamanism then into polytheism and then monotheistic beliefs with Abrahamic religions and spiritualities. But as you may have heard me just mention, shamanism was one of the very earliest um, spiritualities and belief systems that has been around in our society, even in present day, for millennia. We are talking thousands upon thousands upon thousands of years, I think, and forgive me, I am not going into this with any notes, I am not going into this with anything prepared because I am this upset and I'm just going to take a random brush and start coloring this head, <laughs> um, where somebody on Twitter and I'm not going to give her information, yesterday had tweeted out something from the shamanistic perspective. 
in shamanism, for those of you who may be new to my channel and not have watched my previous content, very much has a mind, body, spirit world mentality. Wherein, if any person may have experienced an illness, if any person may be experiencing something where they aren't feeling well, they have this perpetual, especially things that are constant. Um, let's put out an example right now of, oh, oh, I don't know, acne, um, where it's constant and there just seems to be no logical explanation for it they took the perspective of, well, something in you may be out of balance or you may have done something to upset the spirit realm and I am going to act as the intermediary between you, the person with the ailment, and the spirit realm to find out what happened and how we can fix this. Okay? So that's the basic bare bones premise of shamanism. And when I say that this is something that carries over into the present world, there are shamanistic communities that are still in existence in the world. You have the Aborigines who are in Australia. You have Native American communities in Canada and North America. And even down into South America, you have shamans in Hispanic communities in... Celtic communities. I mean, they are everywhere throughout the world. China, Japan, you name it, these people are still practicing this belief system in this healing modality to present day. This woman tweeted out yesterday that despite all medical intervention, because she had gone the medical route first, she wasn't getting any resolution to solving her acne issue. And she had stumbled upon a book, and in that book it mentioned how the person and I'm paraphrasing because I'm not reading off her tweet, I have nothing in front of me for notes had mentioned how they had personally found that if they had a negative mentality or if they were doing or saying things that were not in resonance with the universe or with um, their spirituality, that they tended to find that they experienced illness. They tended to get sick more often. They tended to have things that doctors and the medical community were not being able to resolve for them. And if you have been watching my content thus far, you happen to know that I was one of those people. I am one of those people who experienced that kind of thing. I'm not going to get into my own experience right now because there's already a video about that. If you want to watch it, whatever. I don't care. This isn't about me. This is about this woman. And not only... I have to calm myself before I go on a full-fledged anger fit. Here, here's my main problem. Okay? It is okay to not believe what other people believe. It is absolutely 100% okay to not know things outside your cultural bubble. Okay? It's okay if you don't know that. But when there is somebody giving an alternate perspective on something, it is not okay to bash them for it. And when I say that not only did this poor woman get bashed by regular Twitter users, 
all over the platform. No, there are full-fledged content creators whom I have followed and respected and absolutely care for. And before I go into this, I feel the absolute necessity to say, from what I'm about to say here, do not send hate to anybody because I am not coming at this from a place of wanting to bash these people, from a place of wanting to, you know, raise the villagers with their pitchforks and their torches and all that kind of stuff to attack these people. Because I am well aware that in Western society, we very frequently do not know of things outside of our very narrow field of scope. Okay? So, with all of that said, the names I'm about to mention, if I catch any single person who has followed me, or follows my content, or follows me on any social media platform sending them hate, you are going to be immediately blocked. Because that's not why I'm calling these people out. For those of you who have been following the beauty community and the drama community, you know that Dramageddon 2 happened last year, wherein we had Tati Westbrook, Jeffree Star, and James Charles at the forefront of it, being called all these number of horrific and horrifyingly awful things because people ran with a story with a one-sided perspective without gaining all of the information that they needed before running with it. And I'm not saying that these drama channels and these people are running with content, going to their YouTube channels and putting out videos and all that kind of stuff about this specific situation. I am fully well aware that they most likely are not planning to do so. But these are people with very large followings and with great power comes great responsibility. These people, Dustin Daly, T. Spill, and James Welsh, quote we retweeted this woman, giving her perspective that despite medical intervention, she found that a more spiritual issue was most likely causing her acne because she found that when she spoke ill of somebody or something of that nature, it would flare up and decided to call her out for her mentality, which normally I would be like, whatever, it's whatever, but this is a woman who doesn't even have a platform. She's not on YouTube. She is not a content creator. And when we talk about the dynamic of having power, people who are in positions of power going after somebody who, by comparison, is powerless, that's when I have a real issue. Now, I replied to each one of these people, and I've been ignored. <laughs> In Western society, we have a very huge ego problem. We have narcissism running rampant. We have this thought that what we know is right and anything different or outside of our norm is wrong and I'm here to tell you that is incorrect shamanistic faith healing whatever you want to call it has been around for thousands upon thousands upon thousands of years and everything that this woman was describing comes from the shamanistic perspective on healing now, I'm old enough that I can remember this. <laughs> I'm three years away from 40, okay? 30 years ago, pretty much no one that I knew of, or at least in my immediate field of scope, um, had ever heard of Ayurveda. 
no one had heard of acupuncture. What was Reiki? These are three practices that encompass herbal medicine and mind, body, spirit healing. When you look at things such as acupuncture, they insert needles or moxibustion, which is the same thing except they will put a wad of usually an herbal incense blend at the end of it and they will light it to sm not burn or go up in flames, but cinder and release a smoke over the person. These practices are meant to realign the energy within a person for the purposes of healing. The same is true for Ayurveda and the same is true for Reiki. 30 years ago, the medical community looked at these practices and laughed at them. They considered them absolutely insane and there was no basis in fact that these modalities and these practices would in any way make shape or form help anybody. There was no basis in fact. There were no studies performed. There was nothing in regards to anything that was not a prescription, a diagnosis, and as happens many times in the medical community, especially in the United States or Western civilization, where they generally treat the issue and not necessarily the underlying cause. This is the mentality behind westernized medicine. In its earliest forms, you saw people who maybe they had an infection on the arm and they didn't know what it was ca caused it or um, what may have led to the fact that this person had an infection in the arm. They didn't have things like antibiotics. If you have never seen Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman, I encourage you to watch it. It's a very big eye-opener, and it's actually pretty on par with how medicine developed in the Western world. They immediately wrote off anything of shamanistic mentality, Native American medicine, anything of that nature. They would see an arm that was infected and they might try something called bleeding where they would put um, cuts in the arm to try to release the tainted blood. They didn't know at the time that this practice caused the patients most of the time to become weakened and pass away because it never stopped the infection, it never stopped the underlying cause. They would do things like cut off the arm. They would do things like, they would treat what they could figure out at the time and go along with it. Whereas when you look at the shamanistic perspective, they always looked at where is the imbalance and what may be the cause, underlying cause of this issue and let's see how we can fix it. Now, the way they went about it may have been different than what we did in Western society, but that doesn't make it wrong. These are practices that have been around for thousands of years, and I'm not just talking about shamanism, which I think, if I recall correctly from my notes, originated somewhere around 12,000 BC. So we're talking about, mm, Let's do some rudimentary math right now. It's been around for about 14,000 years. I'm looking at um, Chinese herbal medicine. It, it, 
even 10 years ago, I look at the medical community as it is, and even 10 years ago, they did not take herbal medicine seriously. It's only been more recent that these communities have started to really open their minds and start to incorporate practices outside of the um, medical community to help treat patients because they've started to realize that in many cases there is a mind body spirit connection when it comes to illness they may not have an explanation for it they may not be able to quantify it or define it but they can't ignore the fact that things such as herbal medicine and things such as Reiki where now we have hospitals hiring Reiki practitioners to come in and treat patients before and after surgery because they have found that energy work and Reiki work has helped their patients not just get through surgery but heal from it afterwards who would have thought energy work and yet here we are today with people with very large platforms attacking somebody who was giving her perspective on things from a very shamanistic point of view simply because she said it helped her heal her acne. It is not life or death, people, and she has all of these people attacking her on social media, saying that what she said is very harmful and very ignorant and it's not based in science. But I'm here to tell you that yes, it is. Because Reiki practitioner, Reiki um, energy work and everything is not that far removed from shamanism. The mind-body connection is all-encompassing when it comes to somebody being healthy or maintaining health. It's not just what you put into your body. It's so much more than that. And I'm sorry if I'm going on a very long rant tonight. I'm just, I'm really upset that this woman who's, she's not in a position of power. She's not, she doesn't have a platform. She has nothing. Is getting so much hate from people and so much vitriol from people who just don't understand and don't know. And just because you have the Western perspective on medicine and just because you have the Western mentality of what we have is right and what other people do is wrong does not make you right. It does not make these people wrong. And when you are in a position of power, you have the fundamental responsibility to act in such a way that you are not sending the jackals and the wolves after somebody who's bleeding. And I know that may be a very visceral thing to envision, but that is absolutely what I witnessed today. And I realized that these people likely did not in any way, make, shape, or form intend for that to happen. And I know that because I have followed these people, I respect these people, and I don't generally follow people who are bad people. Because usually I sense them out fairly quickly and I unfollow and block them when I do. I know, by and large, these people are well-intentioned. I know, by and large, they are likely looking at this from the Western perspective of medicine. But here's where a lot of people don't realize that they have this completely and totally wrong. What she is talking about is, in fact, a science. It is a science. You could go to Stratford University or is it Stanford? Stanford, it's one of the top schools in the nation. 
and you can get a degree on medical anthropology. And that is exactly what this woman is describing. When I was in college, when I was first starting off in college, I'm not going to lie, I failed out of my first university. I did not do well there, and I went on to community college afterwards, and it gave me the ability to explore information and fields that I may have found interesting and wanted to explore to see if it was something interesting enough that I wanted to make into a career. I was fortunate enough to go to a community college that had things like um, courses on naturopathic medicine and alternative medicines and one of the courses I took was health healing and culture which was an anthropology course where my professor took us through many different cultures throughout the world and went over their different perspectives on healing as well as their different methodologies to accomplish it. And one of the things she spoke about was the vast amount of communities, both historically and present day, who encompass and include and incorporate some form of shamanistic practice into their healing practices. Yes, many of them also incorporate today um, medical information in Western medicine, but there are times that there are people that modern medicine and westernized medicine cannot help them. And what may work for one person does not work for everybody. That's why we have so many different medications. It's why we have so many different ways of healing people and tackling issues. And it, for anybody who's been watching my content so far, I have said before, I am somebody who is extremely sensitive to medications. The most mundane things that people have no problems with, I am in that small grouping of people who get the random as fuck side effects that could kill me because my body is hypersensitive. So I am one of those people that when it comes to taking prescriptions, they may not necessarily help me. What has helped me many times is taking herbal supplements or seeing a naturopathic doctor. What has helped me is getting acupuncture or get, getting some form of spiritual healing because those are the things that have helped me. And in this woman's thread, she very honestly put out there and said that she had exhausted every option that she had in the medical community. She did everything that she was advised to do. She tried birth control pills in order to stave off acne. She tried a number of medications. She, nothing worked. But all people are seeing is that very first tweet that she made and not reading the rest of the thread and jumping all over her and saying, everything that you're saying here is a lie and it's harmful to people who have acne because now they're going to blame themselves as if they did something wrong and something to deserve it. That's not what she said. She said from her own perspective and from her own real world experience that it was true for her. And the amount, and it breaks my heart, the amount of hate that this woman has received, I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy. All these people reaching out and bashing her and yelling at her and telling her that she is very, very, very much harming people who have acne and I mean, they're literally acting like she's advising them to go out and she's telling an, 
I'm giving an example here. How they are acting is as if she said to somebody with, say, cancer and said, go shoot yourself up with an illegal drug. We'll give an example of like cocaine or something. And it's going to heal your cancer. She didn't say that. She mentioned nothing of the sort. And I think I'm so frustrated today that nothing is working on this head today because I'm even using a palette where I was like this one always works and everything is always great with this palette and it's not working for me today but this is a woman who gave an alternate point of view that isn't just hers it is a point of view that is held by cultures and communities all over the world And I get that in Western society, we don't know these things. You don't know them unless you take the time to expand your information and expand your knowledge and look for it. It's out there. I even included a link to tea spill today <laughs> where it goes over the shamanistic perspective on healing. I got ignored <laughs> and I have a whole bunch of people replying to me all upset that here I am defending somebody who said something that was so horrible get over yourselves come on let's come back to reality and James Welsh he pissed me off worse than all of them because when he quote retreated this woman he said this is the worst thing I have ever read Really, James? Really, James? Are you really sure it's the very worst thing you've ever read? Now, come on now. I'm pretty sure when I read in history books and I read all about the Holocaust, that was a hell of a lot worse than some woman giving an alternative perspective on how she healed her damn acne. Are you serious? And on top of it, when someone replied to him and he was kind of snarky back to him, and I'm paraphrasing because I don't remember exactly what was said, but when he replied to him like, yeah, who knew that I could completely heal my, you know, my being ill was because my crystals weren't in the right position. What the hell? You are somebody who very recently in a video had to straighten people out that the symbol behind you was the all-seeing eye and not some Illuminati oogie boogie as people were afraid it was. So you of all people know what it's like to have people to jump on something and assume something false about you and question you and question your ethics and who you are as a person simply because you had a symbol behind you. And yet here you are doing the exact same thing to some poor random woman on Twitter. Shame on you. Absolutely shame on you. I am one of those people who has dealt with a lot of things in life and I think from my healer tonight she was like you're really fired up about this I'm like yeah because I've been there and because I know what it feels like to have a whole bunch of people coming at you and hating at you just because you view the world a little bit differently for me since I was a small kid I have fought against racism Whenever I have seen injustice in any way, make, shape, or form, I have spoken up about it, and I am not afraid to do so now. I am fully expecting to get all the hate in the world on my channel. I am going to get the stands. I'm going to be having people call to cancel me and all this other bullshit simply because I spoke up for somebody who has been bullied so badly she has not been on Twitter a single peep today. Think about that. You have three people with fairly large platforms, although James is newer to Twitter, so his platform there isn't as big. 
But you have T Spell who's nearing 2 million subscribers. You have Dustin Daly who's around 200,000 if I recall correctly. And you have James Frickin' Welsh who on YouTube is close to 635,000. Now imagine the amount of followers that they have on Twitter that are targeting and lashing out and attacking this woman simply because they didn't ask if there was any way that the information she put out there was right. And I've responded to all three of them and all three of them are ignoring me. So I, and I'm not doing this again I don't want anybody to lash out at these people. These are people I care about. They are people I respect. But when I see something wrong and I see something is not right, I have to call it out. I have to call it out. Somebody had to stand up for this woman. And I'm not seeing anybody do it. And since I corrected them, they're not taking down the post. And they did it earlier in the day, so now people are getting home from work and now they're checking their social media and they're seeing this and they're lashing out at her more and it's not okay. It's not okay. And I think back to the James Charles situation with Dramageddon 2, which is why I mentioned it earlier, where they had one side of a situation, they ran with a story and it was so destructive to him. And he was in a position of power that was greater than theirs. Think about how this must feel to somebody who doesn't even have a platform, who doesn't even have a community of people who will defend her and rally behind her. Stop and think about that for one minute. Because I know these people most likely did not intend for that to happen. But when you are in a position of power, when you are in a position where what you say affects people to act, you have to take that personal responsibility to be more careful with what you say, how you say it, in what you do. I'm going to try to wrap this up. I'm going to throw a lip color on. I don't even know what I'm doing. I didn't go into this at all planned. I, I just, I had to say something. I had to. There is more to the world than Western society. There are more people in the world and there's more cultures in the world and there's more belief systems in the world than what we know in the United States in North America. Let me say North America because Canada is included in that. There is more out there than our narrow field of scope, some of which I've covered on my channel. Even the lip color is not applying, and this usually applies beautifully. This is not a reflection on the cosmetics at all. It's likely a complete and total reflection of the fact that I'm upset, I'm not necessarily using the tools that I should be, and I'm not getting a very good result. <laughs> But there is more to the world than what we see every day. And I know, I know, I know that it comes from not knowing and not experiencing. And I know it comes from a place of just being unaware of what there is and being unaware of alternative experiences and realities outside of what we know in the Western world if you go outside of our world the world and our small little bubble the world the cultures the diversity 
in not only in medical practice but belief systems and culture and religion and superstitions and practices and languages are so beautiful and diverse and you learn so much more about other people and not only about other people but how similar we all are underneath it all and that has to stand for something so please Dustin if you are watching this tea spill if you are watching this James Welsh if you are watching this I encourage you to please take down the tweets that you made I know they weren't coming from a place of intentionally seeking to harass and bully this woman, but that's exactly the effect that they did. And as so many of us in this community keep saying, it is not the intent, but the impact of what we say and what we do that matters. If you are interested in the cultural aspects and spiritualities and mentalities of medicine, especially, I can speak on that. It was not the way my channel was going, but I can, of course, enlighten people more about that. If you want that, put it in the comments. I'm not even gonna say my usual spiel it doesn't matter today. I'm not putting this out there for self-promotion or anything. I'm just calling on people and asking people, please try to do better. When you don't know, ask. You will find more people willing to give you information and fill you in when you ask and in the long run you will do a lot less damage than I have witnessed be done today with all of that said until next time I wish you love I wish you kindness I wish you joy I wish you peace. I wish, wish you prosperity. And most of all, I wish you brightest blessings. And until next time, blessed be.